so i will repeat fine in scanline algorithm there is a global edge table and there is a active edge table active edge means uh, the scanline is intersecting to the edges then it, these are the active edges okay uh, and what about global edge table global edge table you are storing the whole polygon information for each and every edge and x increment value x increment value is nothing but 1 divided by m right so let's understand what i did uh, last point of a polygon should meet first point of a polygon agree everyone so this is the condition over here last x should meet to first x last y is meet to first y okay cleared i hope there is no doubt over here then i need to calculate slope for each and every line of a polygon of a polygon how i can calculate it it's y2 divided by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 right so the simple thing i did here dy is equal to b i plus 1 is nothing but y2 b i means it's y1 okay for a particular edge considering edge okay similarly i calculated dx here after calculation dy and dx okay we are going to have 1 divided by m yes so when dy is equal to is equal to 0 okay that means 1 uh, divided by m is nothing but it's dx divided by dy uh, dy yes agree everyone so if dy value is coming zero then the slope should be initialized to 1 okay so the divide by uh, uh, zero error should not be come that's the reason that's the only reason and if uh, some value that is the numerator value is zero zero divided by anything is zero okay so this is the condition i wrote slope i have taken in dot h i will show you this is the slope array okay i i took it as float fine because it is uh, it has a division term so whenever division terms comes into the picture you should take a float values always here i took d, dx here i took dy as well okay so all the declarations i did in dot h file let's move ahead then if dy is not equal to 0 and and if dx is not equal to 0 then only we are going to calculate the slope otherwise we are not going to calculate the slope so slope i am going to store i value is initialized to 0 number of vertices you are having okay from here you got the number of vertices already this value is already incremented fine it should be less than ver then then Uh, for slope of i is equal to dx divided by dy any doubt in this for loop and the for loop over here any doubt over here no ma'am no okay uh, then our screen varies from 0 to 500 okay so that's why y value is basically varying from 0 to 500 we are moving from top to bottom okay screen apni ulti hai right uh, because at top left corner we are having a 0 0 position okay but when you see our uh, coordinate system at the bottom left we are having a 0 0 position screen ka ulta hota hai theek hai remember this then i initialized one more variable over here for calculating the x intercepts of a line of a line okay so here y is equal to 0 y is less than 500 y plus plus okay if your screen size is more or label size is more you can set according to that then again i is less than 0 i should be less than number of vertices i plus plus here i need to check the active edges active edges so how i am going to check the active edges one y value should be less than uh, say either y1 should be less than y or y2 should be less than y okay uh, if y1 is less than y then 
y2 should be greater than y okay or or reverse bhi ho sakta hai theek hai or y1 is greater than y or y2 is less than y any any condition if get satisfied for a h if both condition get unsatisfied it will directly come uh, out of the loop and again it will check for the y value okay so that means by default uh, the y values are getting sorted only why because we are moving from 0 to uh, 500 0 to 5 so internal loop get execute completely okay then it goes for the external loop you know that execution for the for loop yes all of you yes or no you know that execution internal for loop get executed and then the external for each condition yes ma'am yes you know that fine then uh, these are the x intercept values basically if you remember x uh, next increment let's say x2 if you are going to calculate it should be x2 is equal to x1 plus so slope okay slope which we have calculated over here okay then uh, i did the same thing over here whatever age is active that age uh, for that age we are calculating the x intercept increment the k value okay then if the x values are not sorted let's consider you got the right value first and left value next scan line moves from left to right okay i hope you know this already it's in theory if this is the case this is the case you need to sort x values sort x values okay and for that either you can use a bubble sort or any sorting technique you can use okay ha okay uh, sorry some disturbance uh, so this is these are the two for loops required for the sorting purpose here i checked whether x1 is greater than x2 okay uh, if it it's so then just interchange the values okay if this condition is there if it's not there uh, no need to sort the values fine so the values will move from left to right like this and after sorting after sorting see this for loop is not at ended okay this will end here at the before closing the function it will end remember okay then i need to draw a line okay don't put this delay it's not needed for you for you okay between two uh, see there are two lines i will run the code so that you will understand it from how you are going to draw a line okay uh, let's say get color i choose some color one okay, what happened just a minute get color okay one two three i will close it okay uh, then while drawing a scan line okay the scan line is going to intersect the two lines these two lines okay so uh, that's why i is equal to i plus 2 i did okay then here the same thing happened the line get drawn according to x positions and according to y value according to y value that's it okay then if i run it again get color get some color okay draw a polygon concave polygon convex polygon whatever cho choice you will go give according to that polygon will get drawn now if i press again if you want some different color for a polygon okay delay i removed delay i removed that's the reason okay 
got it all of you you will able to do it by yourself now yes ma'am we will try yes it's not that difficult okay you just need to understand the steps of the algorithm which is already covered in the class and you just need to apply these steps i did the same way okay now uh, i will unshare my screen i won't keep it shared you have to do it by yourself now fine 